Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft on the Block. Um, this is the Technic Pack tutorial series, Technic Pack 6 to be exact, and we are doing some work um, trying to get our sorting system going. I believe this is episode 11, and I've had a, another thought after thinking about it some more. Um, today we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to get some alchemical chests, um, at least one, um, at some point, although that's not really the priority. I wanted to separate these a little bit. There we go. Um, the sorting system we're going to get working, so this is a, a sorting machine, and we'll look into how to use that. We need to make some paint for our for our piping, um, but right now what we're going to do is make a bat box real quick, or a battery box, I guess it's called, for red power. So we're going to need a couple of batteries, which will require copper, tin, and um, nickelite. So we've got that, and <clears throat> we're going to need four of those, and that's really it. So let's go make one of those real quick. Um, I'll get everything ready, and we'll... Oops. <laughs> I don't know why I keep missing the door and why my frame rate went down. But anyway, um, I'll get one of those ready, and I will be right back with you. All right, guys, I think I have <coughs> everything we need. Um, some nickelite, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I believe it's copper and ten. There we go. So we need four of those. There we go. And then it's something like that. We're gonna lose the wood, tin, and blue alloy. That's interesting. It left two of them. <laughs> Um, all right, so <clears throat> wood. I said ten, but I don't think I meant ten, did I? Maybe I did. No, nope, I think I meant iron. I did. There we go. Battery box, and that will be a good start. Let me drop off this seeds. I don't like to just throw them away. We'll use them someday, but we're definitely gonna have to get that going a little more self-sustaining on food, although we're doing pretty good. All right, so that should, let's see. I have not done a lot of work, to be honest with you, with red power stuff, so this will be um, with red power power. I've done a lot of work with a lot of the other stuff, but using red power power is somewhat new to me. So let's do this. Let's, I'm trying to think of the best way to go about this. I might want to just put the bat box on the roof as well, and the solar powers will feed it. Or maybe, sorry, let me think about this for a second. I'll probably do something more like, yeah, I think I am going to put it on the roof for now, actually. Keep it out of the way, we don't need a lot of stuff in the way here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come... out of the solar panel... into the bat box... there we go... and with any luck... yeah, there we go. Little bit of juice. And then the question becomes, does... that work? You would certainly think so. All right, so we got battery going up. I'm not sure exactly how to read this thing, to be honest with you. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. All right, so let's get going on some other stuff. We'll know soon enough. So that'll allow us to use that power for both of these machines if we have to, although I don't think we actually need it for the retriever. Although it's definitely got a battery and internal storage, just like this one does. So that'll be interesting. All right, so... <clears throat> The way this is going to work, the first thing we need is just to hook these together with a pneumatic tube. So that will get us started. And then we're also going to put our timer down, which I thought I had. There it is. Put our timer down right here on the wall. And we're going to need to spin it around like that. So you can see it's pulsing that every so often. And I'm guessing, let's just see what happens if we throw this in there. Maybe it does need power. Let's see, just for fun. 
If it does, let's see, we... Something like that, maybe? So it should be pulling stuff out of that chest, I would think. Maybe I've got this going the wrong direction. Something like that. Whoa. Spit something at me there. That should be the right direction. Let's see. It sucked that out and spit it at me. So there's something wrong. Let's think about this. If that worked, it just didn't have any place to put it, maybe? It doesn't have any place to send it, I'm guessing. Let's see. Alright guys, sorry about that. I actually have it figured out. It took me a little bit. So the problem ended up being that I wasn't getting power to this sorting machine. And it was because I was running power straight up to the side of that. You have to do something more like this come up underneath it and into it. If you run it onto the side, that doesn't work. Or you could run it around to the side or whatever. So I was trying to keep it in the wall so I can put my panels up um, when we're done. So anyway, um, while I was doing that, I realized that I don't actually need a retriever here. That was the first thing I tried. Um, you, a retriever does not require power. You'll see that it doesn't have the power on the, the left side here like these do. So you can see this is now getting power and we're good to go. So it's got its internal storage and its power. The, um, the retriever does require power and the retriever is a little bit more um, fancy. You can use the retriever to actually um, you can you can retrieve it and, and mark it for a certain path, which I don't believe you can do. No, you can do that here too. So um, honestly, the retriever, I'm not sure the difference. <laughs> I'm going to have to look into that. I know you use a filter for a retriever. Anyway, we don't need a retriever right now. What we need is a filter. Um, so we're going to use the filter here. And now I have this set up with just a default route, which is this, this right here is used for, this will basically cycle through each one and pull a stack of each. This one I think is random or something, or maybe this one's random, and it'll just pull from wherever. Um, one of them kind of like keeps the keeps it even. I'm not exactly sure what all these do. We'll have to look into that. But this one I do know is the default route, and we're going to set the default route to white. So anything that doesn't have a route is going to go down white. Now we need to make some paint buckets. It's something we haven't done. So let me dump a bunch of this stuff off because we're going to need we're going to need some space to do this and we're getting close so let me just show you how this works um, if I turn it on it's just gonna start every tick pull something out send it in here and then it's gonna send everything down the default route right so it's putting a white um, painting everything white and sending it along so we can stop this at any point and it's gonna stop that from occurring okay so now we'll just take this stuff and we'll put it back in here for our testing purposes and we can mark different things. So I can take, you know, one golden transport pipe, put it in there, um, and we can mark that with orange, and then it will get marked orange. And so the way that we utilize that is we go and make some paint. And we have, I think, most of what we need for that. We're just going to need a couple of colors to begin with today. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take a couple of what I have and we'll make some paint cans and paint brushes. Um, I am going to need some wool, I just realized. Let me get a couple of pieces of wool at least. Uh, I need some more EMC. I guess I could just use some redstone. Oh, no, I can't. Use redstone in here. Huh. Okay, let's see. Let's get a piece of iron. And throw that in there, and then we can get ourselves a few of those, because we'll need some of those for the paint brushes. We'll need a few sticks as well, so I'm just going to make a couple of those. And let's go ahead and look up the recipe. So, paint. Paint and paint cans. So a paint can is pretty simple. It's just 10. 10 plates. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. 10 plates are 10 and iron smelted down. So I better get on those. So let's take 10 of those. And I would like to have about 20 iron. Do I have extra iron laying around? Can we possibly be getting low on iron already? I think we are. Let's get some gold. 
and make some iron. So we'll take those two pieces of gold. This is why we got to get our quarry going pretty quick. All right, there we go. So let's do this. Let's see, how many of those did we need for each paint can? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So we're going to need at least two for now. So let's see. What was the recipe? Sorry. You get four for every three of these. So let's do this. Um, four. Man, already. Two. Okay. So that's eight. There we go. And seriously, don't have any coal on me. And I may not have any coal anywhere at this point. Have I used all of my coal? Is that possible? I probably didn't even put it in my table. All right, well, let me go grab the coal and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and luckily I had put the coal in my my other uh, my other pants. No, in my uh, chest when I was going to do the sorting. So let's do this. Um, let's take a piece of lapis and let's get a piece of cactus green if possible. Let's see. What do we have that's worth something? Take a piece of lapis and get some cactus green. Maybe. What is, this is the problem? There we go. You just got to get in the right vicinity. I put something in there that's worth less so I can grab some cactus green. Anyway, cactus green will be good. Um, lapis will give us a dye, but I don't remember how to do that. Let's see. Let's see. Blue paint requires blue lapis. How do you make lapis? I guess it is a dye in itself. That's right. Okay, so all these paints, so if we want to make blue paint, right, we need a couple of flax seeds, the paint, the color, and the bucket. So we're going to make green and blue for right now, and we have flax seeds downstairs. We're going to teach those to our crafting table, or to our table, because we're going to need some. So let's go ahead. I believe it can learn. Yep, it can learn those. And how much are they worth? Not too much. Four, it looks like. Okay. So let's go get our 10, see if we got enough. We got 16 of them, that'll get us a couple of cans, and that's all we need right now. So let's go ahead and do this. Oops. There we go. Two cans. And then I'm going to make green, which is this one. So that's just going to take cactus and the. So we'll go ahead and put our two paint cans there. Our flax seeds like that. We'll make the cactus green paint and we'll make the blue paint. Okay, now we need the paint brushes and I think all we do is take a paint brush which is simple. So we take two of these, get a couple of those and then we take our paint and we put it up there like that and we get one green paint brush and we get one blue paint brush. And we'll stow that paint somewhere guess we'll just keep it on it for now. So now we have the paint brushes that we need to actually paint these and then we can actually you don't do that. You do this. So let's run back over there. This is kind of fun. I'm excited to get started with this. All right. So I'm just going to run this above ground for now just to kind of show you guys the idea. But what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, it's not going to work very well. Let's see. Whoops. <laughs> Give me that. Put that back. All right, let's go up one more. Okay, so this thing is going to be smart enough. In fact, let's... Oh, man. Perfect. Just what we want to be messing around with the cobblestone. It bugs me, though, so i got to go do it. <laughs> And I can't get to that other pneumatic tube anyway. There we go. All right, let's go back. There's something with the uh, the hitbox on this thing. It makes it a little hard to knock off the wall. So let's do this. Let's go one further back like that. Okay, so now a couple of things. We're going to paint this one blue, and we're going to paint this one green. So that's going to determine where those can go. Okay, only blue painted objects will go here, and only green painted objects will go there. 
And I don't think I have any wood on me to make another chest. So what I'm going to do is just knock half this chest off because we don't need the whole thing right now. I think we've got enough space. Uh, apparently I was wrong. <laughs> Let's put some of this stuff back in. Let's see. I thought it would leave the stuff in the chest, but I was wrong. All right, we're going to take one more of these and we'll put it down here like so. And then we'll take this and we'll make the default route an unpainted route. Okay, so we'll say the default route's unpainted. This one we want to be blue, uh, green. We'll say that's green, which I think is a different color. Well, there's blue. We'll use that. Let's go backwards from here. Green. Okay. And we'll say for this purposes of our demonstration here, we'll say another brick will go into green and iron will go into blue. Okay. So another brick into green, iron into blue, everything else into the default route. Okay. So now when we turn our sorter on, we should see things coming out colored in their correct colors. And you'll see a default color. And so that's going to be nothing. So you'll see it. Hmm. Not what I expected. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Why is that doing that? It should be that... Is it unpainted? That's not right. Let me see about this. Unpainted items should go into I'm trying to grab all that stuff out. All right, I know I'm doing something stupid. Let me think about this and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I think I figured it out. I think, and I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think that um, items that aren't colored can go through any pipe, if I remember correctly. I may be wrong about that, but what I did for the short term, I know this will work. I decided to make white paint and a white paintbrush, which is just... Um, it's bone meal and you use the regular the regular old recipe so anyway I'm gonna take that I'm gonna paint this white and that's gonna be our default route and then as you see we have the default items getting set to white so this should work so pulls it out makes it white and then sends it up the white route okay and then blue items, once they actually get pulled out, if they do, will get sent in here and green items in here. So that's the basic sorting system, and you can kind of see it going through. It's pretty cool. So we can speed this up as well so that this actually, let's make it uh, intervals two seconds. Let's do one second. So now it'll spit them out a lot quicker. You can see them spitting things out. There's a blue piece finally. So that's going to go in here. And I don't think we had, yep, the green stuff already came out. And we'll probably get one more. There's another green one. That'll go in here, and it basically just sorted our whole system in just a couple of seconds. So, and it can even go quicker. We could do half a second timer on this or whatever, and then we can turn it off so we don't have to listen to it. And that's that. Okay, so so that's the first concept, right? So sorting, and we'll come back and we'll do a lot more with this. There's our 18-minute mark, so it means we're getting close. But what I really wanted to do was put basically a teleport pipe on here. So... Um, so I'll probably, I'm trying to think exactly how this is going to work. Um, we could do it in one of two ways. We could just send things directly from the sorter over into the, uh, the, the animator relay. And that's probably a good short-term solution. Um, Long-term, what I'll probably do is have a chest that's filled up with... Um, with the types of things that I want, like sand and cobblestone and dirt or whatever. Um, and then I'll keep, you know, a couple of rows of each around in case I ever want them. And then I'll have um, a pipe that will take the overflow, which I don't even know. Let me see. I'm not sure if it's actually called an overflow pipe. I don't think it is. No, it's basically what's going to do is it's it'll it'll... It'll just naturally overflow. Things that can't make it into the chest will then get sent through um, a route and, and through to the the either the recycler or the um i better eat either to the recycler or to the antimatter relay whatever we decide on so right now though i think probably the simplest solution i'm not really going to do a lot of sorting today we'll we'll pull all this stuff back out and put it in a chest once we get our system going so we can test it but that's going to take a bunch of the uh the chests that we need so i'm going to need to do some um 
some mining to get some more diamonds because we're going to need one diamond per um, per chest that we end up using as far as alchemical chests and then we'll run all this stuff under the ground and it'll come up into these chests and we'll we'll get our system going um, but let's see I think and I'm also gonna have to think about how I'm gonna do this um, I'll probably run them in here and then the provider pipes will come out the top or the back I, I'm not really sure yet so I might even connect these buildings together so that I have a little um, area to work with be between them um, I haven't decided yet so anyway um, let's do this the idea would be here that we have um, they probably got put where over here that we have these teleport pipes right and the teleport pipes I'll get rid of this retriever we will need that we'll do something like this we will say let's go with white for now well let's actually let's go with blue we'll go with blue and we'll say that this pneumatic tube here yeah since this is temporary it doesn't really matter that one is going to be blue. Let's see if I can actually hit it. There's blue. And that's going to go to an item teleport pipe. And that doesn't look right. Is that because that doesn't hook up to these kind of pipes, does it? That's right. That's why I can't do that. That is a build craft pipe. So that's not the way that we're going to go about that. In fact, we are going to have to so yeah, we're going to have to do what we were saying. It's going to take provider and retriever pipes. Okay, so what we're going to do then in that case is we'll send all the blue stuff into here. Um, again, this is just going to be a short-term solution just to, to kind of get you guys going. And you can play with it offline and we'll get a better solution going when we come back. Um, what we're going to do is now make... Oh man, this is going to be interesting. These are... These are logistics pipes. So let's see, what does a basic logistics pipe cost us? Gold gears and a diamond transport pipe, which is two diamonds, which we don't have. All right, so this is actually going, maybe this is a good place to stop. We'll have a, a short video for once um, because the problem we have right now, I just realized is that I can't hook the teleport pipes up to the pneumatic tubes. I have to use those out of a chest. Um, what I could theoretically do is just pump them out of a chest, something like this. So if we ended up using, let's say we used blue, so we put that pipe there, that pipe on the end, and we got to flip that thing around, I believe. Or maybe not, maybe that's, oh, wrong one. <laughs> I did it again. It looked so much like what I wanted. I actually want a wooden transport pipe, which I believe I have somewhere. Right there, wooden transport pipe. That should allow us to hook up, right? Oops, and then... <laughs> oh man. Get back in there so I don't have to deal with you. All right, there and then there and we can make this frequency one and can receive no we'll say that's going to be sending and actually it's going to be sending on frequency two because we're going to have another setup exactly like that here oops not sure how many times I'm going to do that and that is going to be frequency one. That will be can receive true. So this will take the items in from the quarry, put them in here. They'll be getting sorted. They'll get sent over here. And then this one would pull them out and we would just need a redstone engine on top of this. And if we had a redstone engine running here, pulling them out of the pipe into this, which would then send them on two. And then we can go over to over here. Let's run over real quick and just see if this actually works. So here we want and we want those to be put in the side. 
Is that right? Yeah, we want them to go into here. And I think to do that, they'll have to come in the side. I don't know if they can come in the front. Let's test that out. Like that. Like that. <laughs> and I did it again. And this was frequency 2, can receive true. So this should take them and spit them in there, and I think... Yeah, that's the way that has to go. Now is that at all correct? I guess we'll find out. So, well at the very least, let's get the redstone engine. Let me actually pause real quick and I will uh, build a redstone engine. We'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm just finishing up the redstone engine. And I think I have a lever over there. So, let's go see how this works. This will be a very interesting trial. And we'll set that right there for now, although that makes it hard. I wonder if I can put, I thought I could put a torch or a lever right on that thing. Maybe on top? No, nope, I can't. We'll pull that down, because that's annoying. And let's try again. There we go. There we go. So now it should be pulling stuff out. Although I don't want to do that, I just realized. <laughs> we actually want to do something like cobblestone. Alright, let's see if it actually is showing up back here. So I got cobblestone in there. It'll be pulling it out really slowly at this point. And this is not how we're going to do this long term, but I just want to see if the concept is sound. And then we'll probably use logistics pipes to get things pulling out. So there you go. They're going in, but where are they going? Yep, perfect. Right in there, and then being shot through. Right there. So they're getting burned up, and it's happening very slowly, but that's that's okay. If they got put in here, they would work just, just as well. So that's that's where we'll want them, and we'll, we'll have to do some reconfiguring of this anyway. But this will give us a short-term solution to just utilize that, uh, utilize that query, that query, quarry. All right, let's see. So then the next step is getting getting this thing running and I think that that's what we'll do today well actually you know what I think I'm gonna call it a video because I, I know that the the last few have been extremely long and what I really want to do is get this figured out a little bit a little bit better for you um, what I think I'm gonna do since this thing is already full <clears throat> I think I probably will just do a very similar setup which is put a pipe on here like this set this to frequency one put a redstone engine in here have it start running and pulling stuff out of here and just at least get this thing emptied and, and shot over and filtered a little bit um, because really everything in here is going to go straight into that that fabricator into that relay except for a couple of things which we'll just filter into a default route for now and then we'll try to figure out. I, I do want to get the uh, the sorting system going pretty quickly, though, because it really becomes a pain to have to, to move stuff around too often from one chest to another. So what we'll do is we'll move everything out into a default chest, um, get this thing running again, which means we'll have to get some power going, um, which is fine. And to get power going, I'm going to run the, the, the uh, tubes along there, or the... Uh, pipes along there for the fuel and and then we should be good to go so anyway um i think i'm going to sign off i think this this is looking good we're we're definitely making progress um this is definitely also the way i work i a lot of times will kind of go with um figuring out what's going on and then and then make decisions on how i want to actually implement later so um i'm going to clean all this up i'll probably do that offline i'll just put um put the covers on here to, to make sure this is clean and looks good. Um, I'll put smooth stone covers and I'll probably be turning this room into smooth stone soon. And yeah, this is looking good. So this thing is slowly pulling them out and this is not going to be the most efficient way to do this, of course. Um, but I'll think about different options and how we want to do it. So anyway, all right guys, um, I appreciate you watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave comments. I read every one. Uh, tell your friends and I'll talk to you next time.